in touch of the sea for everybody. Because the rain already right. offered up her uh, air bubbles to us. That's why she's not going, because yeah. that's pretty much yeah. our level one spells. Yeah, I figure right, would she would do out. one, and I would I would do the other. So I'll do touch of the sea on the three of you. Okay. Mm. Whoa. That's loud. Yeah, I was like looking at um, my side of my room. Some clothes fell off the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I'm, I'm packing, all right, so it's so like stuff all over the place. Uh, you know, actually, major armor's not a bad idea. We can leave the armor behind. It'll be easier to get around. I'm, I'm wearing my regular armor. Is this when I go into animal form? I don't get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I'm wearing armor with have... no armor check penalty, so it yeah, makes mine's no only to me. one. Mine's only one, and so my swim is phenomenal anyway, so okay. Um... Guys, I, I I don't have any other suggestions. Anybody? Plus, worst case scenario, if we need to make quick escape, I can escape and miss while we try to run away. Does it work underwater? Doesn't work. Does it? Let me check. No, I don't think so. Don't 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 think so. <laughs> but oh, we're like on I land guess. and we're trying to get in the water to get away. You know, you I mean, we can obscuring yeah. cloud of your own blood. <laughs> Blood magic. You could always, you could always. Uh... There's nothing magical about it. <laughs> <laughs> you could always do like a squid and you know spray something into the water to cover yeah, your cover your tracks behind you. <laughs> Not what I was thinking, but yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I I guess let's get on with it. Transform. we uh... I leave most of my equipment on the Are ship. You guys hearing a ding? No. A what? No, I said you guys hearing a ding. Must just nope. be me. Okay. I leave most of my kits and stuff, like the big bulky stuff, in the uh, thing, and just takes the bare minimum stuff to be able yeah. to fight. Weapons and armor. Because what I need a cooking kit for trying to survive a dungeon, <laughs> and of course stuff for my spells, but you know. Does anyone else want uh, mage armor besides aces? Uh, no, I think I'm okay. Thanks. Let's do this. I'm good. Brotherhood of the stealth team, go. Okay. So talk to me about the plan. Yeah, they airwalked us, and we're just going to try to move our way underwater and try to sneak by the uh, multiple. Airwalk? I mean, water. Uh, air, air, air bubble. Okay. Air bubble. Touch and air bubble. Touch and air bubble. Yeah. Very well. Um, so I think each of the each of the folks with dark vision is going to have to lead somebody without. Uh, I'm the I think only a one without. Be best so that... There's only three of us going. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe uh, maybe a rope. One of us tie a rope around our waist. It'd probably be best you because you're the sturdiest one. Okay. And my strength not... is only a twelve. <laughs> So if you get stuck, try back, not to drag you through anything uh, uh, <laughs> miserable. So uh, I, I I really can't think of anything else, y'all. All right, let's go. All right, we're we're gonna try to stay to the. I guess it's the west side of this. Okay. On the map, try to stay to the west side, hug the wall, and uh, yeah, the cliff wall. Yeah. Yeah, along maybe, that. Since we have air bubbles, our... maybe just underwater. Yep. Okay. How do you do the? Uh, how do you do the track? Uh, the ruler. And you control on each click. Oh, you can't uh, do the track like that. Oh, you can't do it on this one. No. Okay. No tracking allowed. Okay, uh... so. I may we want to use a single figure for us. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. That's survival. Let's try that again. Oh, okay. that's not so good. When you guys are right at the captured Briggs area, you're making, you know, your left-hand turn, you can see, like, uh, 
light reflecting from inside the caverns so like mm -hmm. you can uh, see through the tunnel and as you do something obscures your vision for a moment it looks like some form of uh, water like it looks like water that's just moving in a different direction than the other water and it becomes oh. very clear to you that it's some sort of see-through camouflage and that this thing is enormous Oh shit! And then right up in front of Sifri, a face forms of an like a huge sized dragon. So like its eye is bigger than your head, and it's got like a long wispy beard. It looks like one of those Tian Xia dragons. It looks like a sovereign dragon, and it begins speaking to you, and it says, "Do not resist my mind. Allow me in." I understand that you cannot speak underwater. Now you all can make will saves if you want. <sighs> hmm. uh, a real dragon. Wow. I, try to, um, I do a. Do we have anybody who has knowledge that? Probably. Do we have knowledge planes? It's knowledge planes to identify. Is it. No, oh, dragons are planes? This particular creature is... Or this planes. one is... This particular one is... Extra planar creature. Yeah, no. It appears to have a dragon face. Yeah, but... but. It, they, As you we were told, it is an extra planar. Oh, wow. Um, so I don't know, guys. will you resist the will saves, or will you simply let it happen? That's the question mm. that stands right now. I guess... I Can I do a sense not. motive on it? Absolutely. Because I'm like... Uh... I'm going to try it. Yeah, I'm going to try to sense motive as well. I'll give you a choice, right. actually. You can make a sense motive check, or you can make an intelligence check. Mm, I think sense motive is probably okay. best for me. Uh... Okay, uh, Dom, you do not feel any hostile intent coming from this creature. Okay, then I will believe it and now, fill the will save. What I want to point out is right. that you can't talk to anyone else because you all have air bubble, and so yeah. all that comes out is just like... We blah, have blah, to... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, we have to do this on our own. You guys right, are talking underwater. Maybe just nod yeah. a bit. All right. Are you just I'll, nodding uh... to each other? I mean, what does that even mean to you guys? Yeah, I guess that I will not resist. It's not like we're going to be able to... Okay, so Sifrig, you your int check allows you to understand that this creature wants to be able to understand what you're saying, and that it's mm -hmm. probably, as it's saying, it's trying to read your mind. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to let it happen. Why let not? it happen. Okay. All right, so now you guys can talk to it, even if you can't talk to each other. And it says... Uh, why are you here? Uh, we're here to retrieve a body. So it, you know, like this water current just forms and starts stroking its, you know, watery beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice. Interesting. What body is it you seek to procure? I kind of, I guess I try to describe my mind when I'm looking for of okay. a Tengu. It was a Tengu, right? Yes, he was a Tengu. He that was a mutated, that he turned into a big monster thing. Yep. Uh, this one. So, in the process of you speaking to it uh, through your mind, you feel like something began brushing up behind you in the water, and it feels like the size of its body is thicker than your whole... You know, like, it's gigantic underwater body is much thicker than yours and it's slowly wrapping around you uh, <laughs> <your faces. laughs> oh, and its face man. like appears in front of you and is like why would you seek this particular now you guys can start combat anytime you want don't let me stop you if you want to engage this thing i say to it that we were assigned <laughs> A mission by I'm not sure that's super deep. Will Lorraine tell us the super details on it or just the I mission? I believe she told you guys the details on the mission. Okay, okay. basically, I think her lover, his lover, is looking to reclaim their lovers, right? The lady that's yeah, Shadow there. Tongue. Yeah, Shadow Tongue. Okay. It's Some the strange body of type lover, of lover. It's weird. I don't get it. He's like, <laughs> 
The pairings of mortals are beyond a creature of infinite wisdom such as I. However, your petty antics amuse me. What do you offer as tribute? Um... And it, it kind of releases Maelstrom at this point and begins, like, swimming around Kamakiri. Um, so slowly. I mean, what, would a, what would an immortal being of infinite wisdom desire? Amuse me! Amuse you? Okay, let me see. What do I have for skills to amuse you? Do, 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 do. <clears throat> now would be a perfect time for a dance off. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Distracting you! One modern classic. <laughs> Hashtag GOTG 2014. Can I use Bluff to tell a hearty tale of you a can, great... but remember it can read your mind, so your Bluff is gonna... Kind Basically, of... I'm sizing myself up in the Bluff, like... <laughs> the epic tale of a man trapped on a boat for ten years, <laughs> surviving, being tortured! Okay, alright, I'll accept this as a good use of Bluff. So you're telling a story that's not really true. You're embellishing it. it. Yeah. And ba based in fact. This this story was based on actual exactly. live events. How's that go? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Do, do, do. Ah. Uh. Okay. No. He says, I am not amused by your pathetic suffering. My turn? No, oh, my, 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 my turn. I tried. Go ahead. Uh... I'm going to tell almost like a spy story. A story of daring, of one man against all odds, escaping his hideous employers to seek new life for himself. I see, and what are you using to uh, tell this tale? Uh, bluff, of course. So you're embellishing this particular tale then? Yep. Okay. He says, interesting. I know something of the plight of the man in this story. All is not as it seems, tiny one. Ha ha ha! Hmm. Interesting. Very would care, well. Would you care to elaborate on that? I will not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then he says, if you wish, I will guide you along your way. I bow and say thank you, great one. As yeah. well as you can bow underwater. So you guys feel like this enormous current begin pushing you from behind and it forces you through the tunnel in front of you. Wow. The hype is real. Okay. <laughs> I, I do not want to do that again. <laughs> I give my uh, teammate a good paddling bat. Yes. We're going to make a good, awesome strike force. <laughs> you know it. I was very interested what Sifreak was going to tell or foretell. <laughs> I was really worried. <laughs> <laughs> we so, are rogue ones. I mean, it's not like my usual years. tactics would have done anything. <laughs> I need to see here. I got to find it. I think we need to switch. Um, switch maps? No, no, no. We need to switch the two of us. I'm leading. Uh, oh, right. Assemble yourselves in your, your tunnel how you want. There we go. Plunder your infamy. Uh, twice the character's average character level is... Uh, you guys are there five, we go. so you did not get enough on your bluff to count as an infamy check. Oh. But and this is an awesome... But you... But this is an awesome tale to tear at back at the bar. Yeah. We can certainly try it again back at the bar. If only we can figure out what that thing was. Sure. Maybe you can All describe right. it to someone with knowledge planes. Knowledgey stuff. We're, we're playing the books. So, you know, you guys see uh, hooded torches all along the outside of this room. So, again, any place that isn't inside one of these piers is, uh, like, dark water. And 
the cavern here is about 20 feet high and extends about 300 feet in a semicircle around this area and there are hooded torches everywhere that provide dim light throughout the entire room. As you approach the surface, you see the two outer cages to the east and west. Both contain uh, eight prisoners each. They are all, you know, relatively well clothed still. Uh, they're all dressed like pirates, mostly, it, it would seem, wealthier pirates, you know, officers and such. Uh, they do not have their weapons. Uh, but all of them have some form of knife or uh, some other, you know, something you could eat with, basically. Nothing particularly sharp. Uh, Shanks. And uh, they, you know, they have like little uh, amenities, like a sink to wash in and stuff like that. The uh, toilet paper. The center cage is full of 16 people. They are all naked, and uh, there's no seating, there's no uh, amenities, and they all seem to be huddled together, and the guard that's sitting next to them seems to be splashing them with a bucket of water. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's... <sighs> Multiple guards, darn it. Okay. So, when we come up, which... Like, is this all one big map, or...? right here. Oops, this is on the GM layer. Located right here is the Iron Cross, from which hangs the enormous bloated carcass, no longer containing very many feathers at all, of uh, the man Jenkins. <clears throat> so you guys can see most of this, even if you can't see it directly, it's being reflected off of the ceiling. The ceiling is mm -hmm. made of uh, some sort of glassy mineral, like uh, you know, like stainless steel type. You get a really murky view of what you can see from above. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I want to make sure: is this the overall map, or like the part we come up is like the up and down part, right? I don't understand the question. I'm trying to understand the map. Like, okay. this is where we're emerging from, right? Yes, this is right. the tunnel that goes underwater. And okay. the two large black lines there are the cliff that you pass through as you go underneath the water. Okay, and this is where we're coming up at? You come up in anywhere in this area. Oh, okay, I got okay. you. So and all how... this area is water. Yes. Gotcha. How deep are the is the water underneath each of these piers or docks or whatever they are? 20 feet. You guys want to do a synchronized takedown of the guards? There's four of them and three of us. It's kind of hard well, to... Well, there are three on the piers. It's dim light, right? Yep. Unless we are so absolutely actually, silent, it's going to be kind of hard to... What race is this guy? He is human. Oh, this will be easy. Take down one, two, three, and then I'll move in for this guy. Hmm. Um. So you're saying you're going to get two of them? No, you can get one. I would rather. Is are there exits from? Uh, are there exits from this room? There are. They're, They're behind this here. They'd okay, be so we need to take him system. first. So we don't want yeah. this guy running off. So we need to get him yeah. first. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take that one. Okay. Are the rest of the guys human? Yep. Okay. They are all uh, Ming Kayan, except for the man in the back. He's dressed in like ceremonial Ming Kayan heavy armor, like super lamellar plate, uh, and it has like the characters from Mountain all over it. But he is like a red-haired Olfin guy. Like he is very Viking looking. He's got you know the beard that's braided and all that stuff. Face tats. Mm, his tattoos look interesting. I must ask him if we don't kill him how he got them. So make a knowledge local check. Ooh, I have knowledge ah, local. I can I actually. have knowledge local. Oh no. no. Okay. 17. I'll wait until I see the other ones to see how much. Okay. He's human, right? 
Yep. So the so other I, thing to remember here is you guys can't really communicate exact plans because you can't speak to each other. It's just hand gestures right. and stuff like that. Uh, Kamakiri, yeah. so, I mean, you notice that he's got uh, Kai symbols all along the side. Like, he's got gangsters, society, uh, tattoos that indicate, you know, his position within the, the gang. How many people he's killed, prison terms, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. He seems to be pretty high ranking, and more importantly, he's killed dozens of men. Mm. Like, the counter goes beneath his neck, and so you don't know where it ends, but uh, there's at least three dozen above his neckline. That is impressive. Okay. He probably won't be caught by surprise. By surprise. Mm. Mm. All I need is to go first. I mean... Yeah, he probably can't see out this far anyway. It's all dim light, right? Yep. So as long as we're quiet, we can take out the three on the piers and then just circle around the back of him and yeah, just yeah, jump him. I mean, and he doesn't I, seem the, like... the odds of us not being a specialist and taking out three people completely silently are really not good. Well, the by look I'm of less him, worried about the three than I am about him. Well, here's the as thing. long as they don't. He doesn't look like the kind of guy to run away. He's a big open guy. The other three this like one will do. They'll probably run away. Yeah. Especially I just don't want him raising an alarm. I'm not worried about him running away. I'm worried about him raising an alarm. Okay. You know, and he might well very well stop long enough to raise an alarm and then bring the fight back to us anyway. So. True. And very, he's closest true. to the exit. And he's also closest to the exit, so. That's another good point, too. All right, I will point at the guy by the door and start moving in that direction. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to try to move until I am here. Okay. Underwater? Yes. So let's have everybody yep. else position themselves, and then I will need stealth checks. But wait until everyone is positioned. Okay. Oh, we're all taking that guy out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're all three going to take him. Okay. Yeah. Before we can like, pop up. Check. Good enough. Stuff How many do you want from each of us? Just one. <sighs> Come Damn on, it, I took the dice. dice. Why? Be good to me tonight. Nice. Not bad. Not great, not bad. So, Master oh. Scourge, you hear like a, a popping noise, and then like a glass container with a super bright flare starts floating down beside you, and you hear someone like quietly speaking above you, and you can see that the guy is there. He has his sword like in his hands, but he has not drawn mm -hmm. it yet, and with his other hand, he's gesturing for you to come up. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, I'll uh, I'll raise my weapon hand and uh, start swimming up towards the the surface. Okay. He Try holds out slowly. a hand for you to like pull you out of the water when you get to the edge of the dock. Sure, I'm all right with that. <clears throat> So, like, all three of his men are, like, on alert. They are all look super pissed, and they all have their swords out. And uh, he steps back and, you know, pulls you up onto the dock. Okay. You guys coming up or not? <laughs> Sneak attack time! <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm going to move when he's going to move. So he says, My name is Kels Kelson, son of Kels. Why are you trying to sneak into secret facility? But remember, this guy sounds ridiculously hammy Japanese, but looks <laughs> Viking. <laughs> Can we what what the heck now? was that? Oh, uh, what was the, what the heck was that Japanese? The movie about the the British guy that sailor that went to Japan. Um, the last oh, uh, last samurai. A real old one. No, no, not the new one, the real old one. Um, 
It's just huge. But anyway, never mind. Dances with Wolves Japan. Um, <laughs> I'll think of it later. Don't worry the about it. All right. Um, I, I think uh, I think a headbutt's in order. Sneak attack time. Are you sure? Sneak attack. <laughs> Uh, no, I'll tell him uh, we came to recover, or no, I came, sorry. <laughs> I came to recover the body, and I'll point at the guy up on the cross. He says, <clears throat> So you are Aspis Consortium dogs? Absolutely not. We kill them every chance we get. Mm. Do you I don't even have to bluff. check for that one? Nope. I mean, you were in Aspis Consortium <laughs> port for like a month. I don't recall you killing anybody. <laughs> Didn't have any chances. Didn't have a chance. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I will accept canonically that sometime in your past you did kill a number of Aspis Consortium then. All right. So he says, sure. Oh, so then why are you here to take Aspis Consortium man away? Um... Uh, someone kind of has us over a barrel, and we need to uh, we need to provide. Kind of You're familiar with the term. He uh, he makes those flashing code signals that you saw from Ruthless Mockingbird. Like he's using sign language with them, and uh, all three of them are like furiously signing back. And he shakes his head. He's like. My men are concerned because you do not do me the honor of introducing yourself. Ah, uh, that is very simple. I'm, uh, my, my manners are very lacking. I am, uh, Master Scourge. He says, I have heard of this name. Many say that they are Master Scourge, but many are not. Do you have the whip? I'll uncoil the whip and drop it on, drop the tip on the 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 length of it on the ground. So he he starts stroking his uh, Viking beard, but in a very Oriental manner, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, ah. "Thank you for letting my arm myself." By the way, he says, "I am myself. not afraid of you being armed. I believe that you may be an honorable warrior." Will you As prove much... that you are Master Scourge by facing one of my men in battle? Certainly. And so he is like, Gumi, Which one? step forward. And the, the one steps there and he's like, you will face him to prove that you are who you say you are. Uh, now? No, lay low, lay low. He kind of laughs and says, sure. At your earliest convenience. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bull rush. Sure. Okay. Roll for initiative. So, like, you're getting ready to bull rush, and this guy is bowing to you, and the other guys in the room are like, Oh, very dishonorable. I'll. Oh, if he's if he if he's actually bowing to oh, me, then uh, yeah, I'll 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 take the time, but I'm. Okay. He's like, he's doing that boxer kind of like jabbing around, dodging back and forth. Like, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Well, there's none of that. I'll give him a quick bow, and then we're going to initiative. And I get a plus two because we're underground. Hey, aces, you want to just put our initiatives in just in case? Yes, just in case. Oh, I didn't select myself, so that didn't go in. You have to add me. Sorry. Okay, uh, so he uh, finishes bowing to you and then uh, begins using the shadows of the dim light around to uh, disappear into the darkness. I have dark what? vision. I'm yeah. not real sure that that... So he has concealment towards everyone else, but not towards you, which is the issue. Okay. Uh, so, like, he tries to go stealth. And, uh, he really has a 26 in it? Yeah. Wow, okay, sure. And uh, he moves forward, and then he slams his Singheim right into you. Coming out yep. of stealth, but again, you're not fooled by that. 
no. Does a 13 hit your flat foot? Although you're a barbarian, uh, I don't, I don't know, know if you traded away that ability or not. Uh, 